So now we have a new concept in Kafka, uh, which is that you can use an item button producer. And so basically here's the problem. When the producer um, sends messages to Kafka, you can introduce duplicate messages due to network errors. And this is a problem that's been there forever, uh, but no one really dealt with it until recently. And so here's how it can happen. We have the producer and we have Kafka and the producer places a good request. And so it produces data to Kafka. Kafka say, yep, I got the data. I'm going to commit it and then sends back an acknowledgement. That's what I call a good request. But then sometimes this happens we get a duplicate request. And so the producer sends a produce request to Kafka. Kafka say, yep, all right, I got the data, I'm going to commit it in my log. And sends back an ACK. But the ACK never reaches the producer because there is a network error. So the producer says, the producer says well, you know what? I'm going to retry because I have a retry is greater than zero. And because I haven't received an ACK, uh, I'm going to retry my produce request. So it retries the produce. And now there's a commit duplicate because Kafka sees the message again with a produce request. So it commits a second time. And then this time the ACK goes back to the producer. So from a producer perspective, it only sent the data once because it only got one ACK back. But from Kafka perspective, it got the data twice. And so it did commit the data twice and that created a duplicate. So with the item button producer, how does it solve it? Basically, if you have Kafka over 0.11, you can define an item button producer. And so here's what happens. On the good request, same stuff. Produce, commit, ACK, okay? But now, when you have an item button request, we have a produce, Kafka commits the data, okay? And the ACK never reaches the producer. Now the producer retries again. But when it retries, it also has a produce request ID. And that's a new thing from 011. And using that request um, produce ID, Kafka broker is able to detect that this is a duplicate request. And so Kafka is smart and say, okay, I'm not going to commit the same produce request twice, but I'm going to send back an ACK saying, yes, I got it once already. And so from a producer perspective, well, it was sent once and received once. And from Kafka perspective, there was some deduplication that happened at the produce request level and the thing is committed for you. So it's not something that you have to implement. It's a mechanism. I'm just explaining to you how it works. And so basically, item button producer, to me, they're great. And they're not a big overhead at all. And if you want a stable and safe pipeline, use them. What does an item button producer come with? It comes with the retries equals integer dot max value, which is a very, very high number. So that means that your producer will basically retry indefinitely. It comes with max in-flight request equals one if you use Kafka over 0.11 or less than 1.1, or Kafka uh, max in-flight request five if Kafka is greater than 1.1. And so remember I said that if you have max in-flight request equals five, then you may get out of order um, batches being sent. Well, not anymore. If you use 1.1, you can actually get the higher performance and still keep the safety with max in flight request equals five. The item button producer also comes with axe equals all. So we ensure that we don't lose data. And so to just get all these things, we have to set producer props. So your configuration dot put enable item buttons true. And that's it. So item button producer to me is something that is underutilized today, under leveraged, and you really need it. So in the next lecture, I'll do a quick summary and we'll go hands-on to create a safe producer.